Hollywood is looking to get up and running as reopenings across the country continue. Studios are opening their gates to resume movie and television production with strict new rules to prevent the spread of COVID-19 on set. Anusha Shakui joins me now. She's an entertainment industry writer for The Los Angeles Times. Uh, Anisha, first of all, uh, Anusha, sorry, um, can you tell us about the new guidelines that the studio must follow? So they're very detailed. Um, they break down for different areas, but uh, in all, you know, what it involves is, you know, a whole new department for health and safety, specifically someone who's in charge of implementing, you know, testing on set. Um, and that person will have, you know, quite a lot of authority so that they're not overruled, for example. And there'll be a lot of testing. And um, in the crew and cast will be split in d different zones depending on how exposed they are. So, for example, as an actor, one of the big things that Hollywood's been struggling with is, well, how do you get people to film a, sh uh, you know, a scene with masks on? So what they've decided to do is split groups up. Some people you know, can work remotely, and some people will be on the set. And those people that, that are near the actors and the act actors themselves could, will be tested at least three times a week, if not daily, depending on the kind of work they're doing. So that's sort of like the big picture um, but there's there's a lot more a lot more detail around sanitizing and uh, how catering is held. But it's the first big wave of, of details that um, that the industry has put out. Well, sanitizing, temperature checks, those seem to make sense and be fairly light lifts. But um, I'm wondering, as you mentioned, the the, the masks uh, that that people are supposed to be wearing, that the limitations, I believe, on love scenes um, and the limitation on number of people in a scene. These sound like they're actually potentially going to change the way that these movies are made, maybe even storylines. I'm wondering if there's been a response from the studios about these new guidelines. Well, that's exactly it. I mean, these guidelines have been come, have been formulated uh, in conjunction between the studios and uh, the unions that protect um, actors and directors and other film crew. Um, you know, I think the big concern is that you know, you can go back to work, uh, but what if there's another outbreak? What if um, your actors get sick? And because of the close confines of film sets, you're talking about not just, you know, if one person gets ill, they're not going to be um, far away from people. They would have been in close contact with a lot of people, and that could potentially shut down your film shoot. A lot of actors are also scared about going back. A lot of film crews are scared about being exposed as much as people want to get back to work. So I think, you know, supposedly from today, um, you know, Film LA and, uh, you know, the county of LA is open to filming. But um, realistically, while there are some small productions going on, um, I understand from, like, you know, small commercial shoots, um, it's going to take a little bit of time to kind of get um, all these uh, pieces of the new set and uh, production um, outlines, you know, set up um, to hire the people to do the, the testing, you know, all that uh, swab testing that looks really uncomfortable. Um, and, you know, to also drill down, there will be more uh, guidelines to drill down for specific departments like hair and makeup and um, costumes. Mm. But as you said, you know, it's going to be restricted. You know, they have suggested, no, you know, to reduce background, background um, and big, big uh, group scenes. They've um, also suggested, you know, really to kind of limit intimate scenes or fight scenes as much as possible because that might require daily testing. So it's definitely part and parcel of how the film is going to be put together. Hmm, very interesting. I also want to ask you about uh, some other news. The Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences put out a statement saying that it's working to ensure that Oscar-eligible films meet a wide range of diversity and inclusion requirements. How much of a change is this for the Academy? You know, the Academy has been trying since about 2015, where it really sort of took on the Oscars So White campaign. Um, to diversify its ranks, which have been largely male, largely white. Um, and every year they add new members um, and they've been adding more women and more people of color to, and, you know, younger members to diversify the ranks. But obviously, you know, there's a lot of members, 7,000, so it's a big change. And they've, you know, they want um, from next year there to be at least 10 um, nominees for Best Picture, so there's a diversity of movies. Um, up at the moment, you know, it can be up to 10 movies nominated, but usually it's between five and 10. And also they want to um, have these rules around um, eligibility that 
um, will, you know, they'll have to meet some diversity uh, uh, measures, you know, to show that they have been, um, you know, diverse in their selective casting and storyline. It's unclear how, how exactly that's going to play out, but that's something that we could see not in the coming awards uh, if they're held, but in the year after. Um, and that's definitely something that, that, that the Academy has been trying to tackle for the past few years. Um, yeah, we've, we've been watching this for a while. Um, I'm wondering how much emphasis they put on uh, the voting groups that decide which films win an Oscar and diversifying the voters. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. By So they, um, we know from, uh, you know, studies that then are reporting that the LA Times has done over the years that it, the voting uh, block in the Academy, which is about 7,000 people, um, is largely white and male and older. Uh, by adding the members, uh, adding members and inviting members uh, to its ranks, they're kind of diluting that, increasing the number of women, increasing the number of people of color. They've also, uh, in recent days, added to their governors, um, uh, their 54 group of, you know, board of governors. They've um, added, you know, uh, Ava DuVernay, you know, the director of Selma, to, um, who's been a big proponent of diversity and, um, so from their highest ranks, you know, through, you know, throughout the different branches of the Academy, they've been trying to diversify. And those are the people that will be voting on movies. So, um, you know, but I think it's already taking time. It's going to take time to see, uh, you know, those numbers really shift. I mean, even when they've added, you know, hundreds and hundreds of members, it's, it's, it's had a small impact on the numbers. But um, mm -hmm. these new requirements actually will be limiting the term of some members. So that might mean a bigger turnaround in the voting in the voting block, and so mean more um, more up and coming uh, actors, directors, uh, costumers uh, being part of the academy. Anusha Sukui, thank you for joining us. My pleasure.